Welcome to, This Cruel World. In these videos, we will be going through victims that had unfortunately crossed paths with Jeffrey Dahmer. The notorious serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer murdered and dismembered 17 victims, and in some cases, even cannibalized their body parts. His killing spree lasted 13 years from 1978 through 1991. If you haven't done so already, please consider watching Dahmer's other victims linked at the end of this video. Hi, my name is James Dockstader, but most people call me Jamie. This is James, Jamie, Dockstader, and he was Jeffrey Dahmer's third victim. Dockstader was only 14 years old when he was murdered on January 16, 1988. This was two months after Dahmer had brutally murdered Stephen Twomey. Doc Stater was of Native American descent and was born on March 1, 1973 in Wisconsin. He was living with his mother, Debbie Vega, his stepfather, and two siblings in the Tampa Bay area around the time of his death. According to Find a Grave, Vega said that her son was independent, outgoing, and that he had lots of love. She also said, Jamie was always hyperactive, and a lot of people misunderstood him, as reported by the AP News report. According to the Tampa Bay Times, Doc Stater had a very difficult upbringing. He grew up with an abusive father and, unfortunately, his stepfather was abusive as well. As a result of an argument with his stepfather, Doc Stater ran away from home. Two days later, he crossed paths with Dahmer, and his young life was cut short. Dahmer was out one night, hunting for his next victim, when he met Doc Stater at a bus stop outside of the 219 nightclub located in Milwaukee. Doc Stater, a young vulnerable 14-year-old boy, did not stand a chance once Dahmer had picked his prey. With an offering of $50, Dahmer was able to persuade him to come back to his grandmother's home to take some nude photos. Once Dahmer got Doc Stater back to the house, it was the beginning of the end for him. There, Dahmer drugged and strangled him to death. Doc Stater's lifeless body was left in the basement for a week until Dahmer had the opportunity to dispose of the body. He had dismembered and dissolved the flesh from the bones with acid, his gruesome chemical of choice. He then crushed the remaining bones with a sledgehammer for easier disposal. To this date, Doc Stater's remains have never been found. Please like and subscribe to our channel as we will continue to go through each of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims in the upcoming videos.